Engineers believe they can make a more efficient, less polluting airliner by improving on this design, fitting a kind of fan at the rear of the aircraft. It's cutting-edge technology. Can they make it fly? Let's find out. We begin in the wind tunnel at TU Delft, where aerodynamics experts are using lasers to carefully fine-tune their new aircraft concept, which is being developed within an EU project called Centerline. The idea is that the aircraft would have three engines instead of two, so one at the back, two here, and um, so these engines will provide the electrical power that is required to drive this electrical motor and fan here. The innovation at the heart of the centerline project is the way the air, which is already dragged along by the plane close to the fuselage, is accelerated by the rear fan to create thrust. It takes the air that is, that is flowing along uh, around the fuselage, takes it up, re-energizes it, and thereby produces the required thrust at a lower power input. And this improves efficiency. It will allow us to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So uh, that's predominantly CO2, but also NOx emissions and so forth. The same effect is already used in boats and submarines, but the experiments in the wind tunnel reveal how adding a large fan at the rear of the plane has a big impact on a modern passenger aircraft fuselage. A thing to keep in mind when making this kind of design, compared to conventional designs, is there's a strong interaction between the propulsive system and the aerodynamic surface. This interaction is really important, and you can't forget it during the design process. Meanwhile, engineers at the University of Cambridge are facing the other big challenge, developing the electric fan engine. Placing the fan blades in the turbulent air at the rear of the plane means they have to be very strong. The air that's coming into the inlet of the engine is very distorted. That's to say it's not uniform. It's not all travelling at the same speed. What happens with the engine in these cases means it tends to stall. So we have to improve the design of our fan blades to prevent any failure. And apart from never failing, the design needs to be more efficient to reduce the fuel used in the flight. The Centerline team has a new fan blade design that could solve the problem. Here we have the two blades. This is the more conventional design and the new one. The new one has a more three-dimensional form, a lot more curved that should be able to help us deal with the distortions in the flow and to recover the efficiency that we have lost due to the slower flow of air. The engineers talk of fuel savings from 3 to 6 percent, even up to 11 percent, meaning important emissions reductions on long-haul flights. The, the static pressure. So we feel that this should be an aircraft application case for a large aircraft long range. So if I install the additional weight on the aft of the fuselage, I certainly want to uh, utilize the additional efficiency gain on a long cruise flight. So for example, flying from London to Tokyo. The first aircraft with the third electrical fan at the rear could be seen flying in the skies in the mid-2030s.